In integrating, you saw the spectrum going from red to orange to yellow to green to blue to violet. Yo, yet, not yo, yo, uh, yet, when you take the spectrum down, and I go through the range here, it goes from red to orange to yellow to yellow white to white to blue white. And if I can keep going, it'd turn blue. What happened to green? If we go out, astronomers look, if we look with our eyes through telescopes, we see red stars, we see yellow stars, we see yellow white stars, we see white stars, we see blue white stars. We don't see green stars. Why, why is that? Anyone have any ideas? Are there no stars in the appropriate temperature? Is it connected to the fact that green lasers can blind you? No. See, a green laser is emitting a single wavelength. It's, the lasers are special that way. They emit a single wavelength. It's not like a thermal distribution. It's not because of how the atmosphere scatters the light, although that does distort the spectrum. Come down here. Um, oh, your hand was up first. Is it because green is in the middle spectrum? Yes. But the answer is more than that. Green's in the middle, so what? Go ahead. Um, because the, the wavelength would peak right in the middle, so you'd have um, you have components of every color, and therefore, like I guess, all the colors would mix together, creating white instead of green. That's it exactly. So, for those of you who couldn't hear, if we peak in the green, and I'll bring up a figure that demonstrates this. You know, the sun, for example, peaks close to green, but not quite. It peaks a little bit on the redder side, kind of around orange. So, here's the solar spectrum. Peaking around orange, we got some red in there, but we also have yellow, green, and a little bit of blue, not as much, because again, it's a powers of 10 plot. So you get mostly the, the red and the yellow, giving you kind of a yellow oranges color. But you can imagine a, another spectrum, maybe this one right here, where it's just a little bit hotter. And because of Bean's law, the peak will shift over. If it peaks in the green, then you got the flat part of the thermal spectrum right there going through the visible. You have more green than any other color, but you have almost as much red and almost as much blue. If you peak over here at lower temperatures, you have more red than blue. If you peak at higher temperatures, you have more blue than red. But if you're peaking at the temperature that puts it right on green, you have about the same amount of light at all wavelengths. If you mix equal amounts of all the colors, and in particular red, green, and blue, and I'll mention why in a second, you get white. At least to the human eye. Okay, when you go out at night and look up at the stars, what color are the stars mostly? White. That does not mean that they're all peaked at green. I just told you if the star is white, that means it's peaked at green. And now you might walk out thinking, well, all stars peak at green, because I look out and everything's white. That's not true. That's a defect of your eye. Not a defect, a feature of your eye. Here's the human eye. You have two types of detectors. You have the cones, which are kind of right in the center. That's not my eye, but right in the center. That's my head. Right in the center of the back of your eye, you have the cones. Big concentration of them. They see color. They're like your digital cameras, red, green, blue. Around that, you have the rods. They're like my astronomical digital cameras. Mine are meant to work in low light conditions. I'm getting so low light, I can't afford to split it between red, green, and blue detectors. I just take it all in. It makes a black and white picture. You have both kinds of detectors in your eye. Under high light conditions, the cones can actually discern the color. You can detect in the red, green, and blue cones. But under low light conditions, those cones aren't getting enough light because you've split it up by color. And the rods are what kick in and do the detecting, but that's monochromatic. So you look up at the sky at night, it's because you don't have enough light for your cones to actually see the colors. It's a shame because the universe is an incredibly colorful place. Every star is a different color. Your personal telescope doesn't get enough light to see it. But if you look through a big telescope, where the telescope can collect the light and put it into the eye. If it's big enough, and then you're getting enough light into your eye, the colors magically return. You can see the red stars. Most of the stars are red. And then you have some blue stars and everything in between, except you don't have any green stars, as we talked about, 
the human eye will see white in that case. Make sense? 